Hello, this is Fred, and you know what to do on this channel. So quickly, we're going to attempt this question. Now, this is um, the orthographic projection of an object, all right? This is the front elevation, this is the end elevation, this is the plan. So um, we're just going to project this in isometric. So what is the total height of this object? The total height is 105, 75 plus 30, 105. Then this slope to the right, that's the receding line to the right, is 67 plus 40. 67 plus 40, that's um, 107. Why the receding line to the left is 50, that is 50, okay? So we have 50, 107, 105. So we use this information to project an isometric box. Okay, so these are isometric box. We have this length 107, we have this length 105, and we have this length um, 10, sorry, 50. Okay, so I'm going to project this inside this box. So now we're going to follow the dimension. So let's start with um, this side, right? So this is 35, this is 20. All right, this is 12, okay? So we're going to fix that real quick. So you measure, measure 35, 3.5, so this is 35. Right, so we draw that line, just draw a thin line. So, draw a thin line, we're going to measure it properly later. All right, then, um, this is 20, so we have. Twenty here. So this is twenty. Then this is ten plus twelve. That's twenty-two. Okay. So I'm going to measure twenty-two. Then I'll measure twelve out of it. So that is two point two. This is 2.2, .2. okay? So I'm going to measure 1.2, that's 12 out of it. So this is 1.2 here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is to first of all transfer lines, transfer this line to where you have two, right? Thin lines first, then align your set square, transfer lines to this point where you have 12, and also to this point here. Okay, so you just take it up a little bit because we're going to measure it. So, this is 10. So we measure 10 on it. So that's 10. Transfer lines there. Okay. To this yes. point. Draw a line. All right, so from this point up to this very point here is 45. So this is 20, 10, 15, that's 45. So I'm going to measure 45 from this point. That's 4.5, 4.5 there, okay? So I'm going to transfer a vertical line from here. 
So we are half four five. Now we draw a line all the way up. Okay. To touch the top. Alright, so now we know that the thickness here alright is 15. So I'm going to measure 15 and also draw this from here. So we'll measure 15 from here and I'll draw it up. So this is my 15. That was 1.5. So this is 1.5 here. Okay. So transfer lines. Offset the lines. To 15. All right, so I can now create a space here. All right, so with thick lines, I cannot draw this part and make it visible. And so I just, okay, so the next I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer these lines, this line here. to this point here then also to the back but I'll draw thin lines because I'm going to measure it so draw transfer thin lines here first just thin lines then also this bottom here not miss this part okay then I also transfer a line here I'll measure it later thin line there all right, so the next thing is, what is the distance from this point to this point? All right, I think we have 50. So you measure 50 here. This is 50. Then you also measure 50 here because it should correspond with the back. Okay. So this is 50, all right? So what we do now is we transfer lines, the vertical lines from here to where we have 50. You don't even need to transfer. Since you already have 50, you just draw a thin line first because something is going to come out from this part. So draw a thin line to meet 50. Okay, and leave it just like that for now. All right. So now transfer lines to complete this part okay because this is 50 All right so you cannot draw these thick lines all right okay so now the next thing I'm going to do is there is a hole here from the plan you could see that so the hole from this point so the hole is 20, you can see 20, okay? So from this point to this point is 12 plus uh, 10. So we have a uh, 22, that's 2.2. Then from the point here, 2.0, I'll measure 20. All right, so I'll get that. Then the distance from here, okay? From this side to this other side is 15, as you can see, 15. All right, so this is 15, this is 15. So with 15 and um, 20, I'll be able to fix that. So let me do it real quick. Okay, so this is um, 12, that's 1.2 here. So from then I'll measure 20. So this is 20. All right. So I will transfer thin lines, align your set square here. Transfer thin lines to this point here first. Just thin lines. And to this point here, thin lines. All right? Okay, so the next thing is, we're going to measure 15. Um, is it 15 or sorry, five? Did I say this was 15? 
um, early unknown. This is five, please. So five, five. So the distance is here, five, five. So I'm going to measure five, um, which is um, 0 0.5. So here I have my 0 0.5. I can also choose to measure 0 0.5 here if I like. I have my 0 0.5. So I'll connect both of them. Okay, so the thick line, all right? And I'll join this. Definitely, you won't see the other side. Okay, the distance, this same distance on the other side, you won't see it. So you just uh, connect, draw the lines to hit um, this point here. Okay, because you won't see it so we're done with this part now let us focus on the cylinder okay on this surface okay so these are the dimension of the cylindrical surface this uh, cylinder you see here okay now the diameter is 40 you already know that so how do we fix it all right so now you can see that the distance from here to here is what 30 so we're going to measure 30 here and draw a thin line then you could see that this uh, cylinder is centralized. So if this is 50, the center of 50 is what? 25. So we're going to measure 25 here and draw what? Another line down. So both lines will intersect and we'll have a common center. So it is on those lines that I what? Fix my what? Rhombus. So if our diameter is 40, that means the rhombus I'm going to fix here will be what? 40 by 40. Okay, now we are going to draw a rhombus for this surface here. I mean this surface you're seeing now. A rhombus here. We're also going to draw another rhombus here, okay, for this other side. That's the, the, the height of the cylinder. So what we're going to do here, we're going to repeat it for this surface as well. All right. Okay, so we measure 30. So this is 30. And we measure 25. That's 2.5. So this is um, 2.5. So what I'm going to do is, I'll transfer lines, all right? Transfer lines from here. This is 30, okay? I'll draw thin lines across. Then I'll transfer lines from here to this point, 25. This is 25 here. So draw thin lines down. So you see, they will intersect, like I said. Now, since our circle is 40 by 40, so you measure 40 on this line and 40 on this line. So how? Now, if the diameter is 40, it means the radius is 20. So you measure 20 to the right and to the left. So to the left, from this point to this point is 20. Then from this point to this point is another 20. Sorry another 20 that makes it what 40 all right so you measure you do the same thing here align your ruler ensure this center here is what coinciding with two so measure 20 that is 20 up and 20 down and that gives us what 40 so what i'm going to do next is i'll transfer lines from here offset lines from here to where i measured um where I measure 20 the other time and the other 20 at this bottom here here I'll draw lines, okay then I'll transfer vertical lines from this point sorry, from this part here right, vertical lines to where we had 20 here and to this other 20 you measured right now, can you see the room box now? So the back of the circle will what will be inside this room box. Okay, so repeat the same thing for the front. Okay, so the same thing I did for the back, I already did for the front. Now do not allow this line to confuse you. This is for the what the part that makes up um, the line that makes up this part of this what uh, object. Okay, so focus on this room box here. Okay, this one, this line and this line. So ignore this line, okay? All right, so now I told you that when you want to draw an ellipse, you connect the longest diagonal. So you connect 
the diagonal here all right choose any of these angles okay so i choose this angle and connect to the center this is the this is a line and this is the center of the line this is another line and this is the center of the line so you connect this angle to this center but our reference point is where the line this line you're going to draw now where to cut this diagonal so when you draw line connect you discover that you cut this diagonal at this point that is what we're looking for then you do the same thing here connect to this center this is a line this center line here right so it will cut the diagonal to cut this diagonal at this point so that is it so you repeat the same thing here join the diagonal choose any okay let me use this side this angle this time around connect to the center here this is our point of reference here then from this same point here you connect to um, this midpoint here and this is our point of reference here okay so you know what we do next now needle on at this point here stretch to this point midpoint okay if it is touching down that point there it should also touch this point here right so draw sorry about that all right so connect draw this arc with thick lines i'm having issues with this pair of compass okay so draw this arc all right so you need to here stretch to this midpoint now remember your arc shouldn't exceed you can watch pre previous videos on isometric circles to know to understand how to draw isometric circle so you adjust to this midpoint here all right and you describe another arc from here sorry about that i think there's something wrong with this pair of compass definitely all right so i think that's then you needle on this point here where this line intersects here all right stretch to this midpoint here all right if it is touching this point it should also what touch this point all right so draw an arc sorry that was a mistake please just ignore the mistakes and uh, follow the steps right draw an arc All right. Okay, so I already got another pair of compass. So you need to here stretch to this point here. Okay, and describe an arc. All right. So that's it. Now, this is the circular front. All right. Now the back. You repeat the same thing but this time around this is what you do you need to here as you draw stretch to this midpoint here but do not exceed this diagonal because it's actually the back of the what of the cylinder you can't see the other curved um, part all right so draw and arc from this point to touching the diagonal do not exceed up to this very point no okay then you do the same thing here needle here stretch to center here and draw an arc touching the diagonal right do not exceed then needle here where this line meets this one here so you have to be very very careful on so you don't needle on the wrong points all right connect this part all right so what you do next is now where this 
diagonal intersect this arc at this point and where it intersects this arc at this point you connect them with a straight line to this point of intersection where this diagonal intersect the arc at this point and at this point with a ruler so you connect this point to this point with a straight line connect this point to this point with uh, a straight line all right so you have your cylinder there okay so now definitely you know there are parts of the this is not a transparent object so you're going to draw this part okay and stop here okay because you can't see through then from here you draw down okay all right then you connect this part with a thick line all right so there you have your object so the next thing you do is to dimension okay so you dimension like this now i couldn't dimension this part because this is actually 40 as you can see if this is 50 and we have five out of it and another five out of it that's 10 we are left towards 40. so now if you measure with your ruler okay you can see 40 is up to some so we can't we it's not visible so you just leave it um like that okay so that's it um if you got this correctly give yourself a thumbs up and uh, also give this video a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe to this channel as more videos will be coming your way thank you for watching see you next time